Welcome to a new Football Manager 2015 experiment with me, Paul, otherwise known as Golden FM. Now, this experiment is called Loaded Lowestoft for a simple reason. I have made Lowestoft Town rich. Now, a bit of background to Lowestoft. They've recently been promoted from the depths of English football up into the Conference North. They're located on the east coast of England in Suffolk, close to the, the Norfolk border. Um, so... You may be wondering why they're a Conference North team. It's because they're sort of in the borderline area where they can be in the North or South, depending on how many teams are in each division. So they're in the Conference North. Now, they've got the lowest reputation as well of any team in that division on the FM15 editor. So if we have a look here to see what I've done on the editor, let's go to their finances. Now, I've given them a huge amount of money in the bank, a huge amount of transfer budget. Obviously, they're not going to be able to spend that in the first season or until they reach the Premier League to be honest maybe Championship they'll spend a bit of money if they get up there also a lot of wage budget and I've given them a background sugar daddy meaning he's got the money to get them promoted here throw money at them but he will take a bit of a back step he won't get in the face of the manager which is almost a good thing in a way I've also given them a rather generous kit sponsor a huge kit sponsor and in terms of their reputation, I've increased it to the maximum it can be on the game. 10,000 to so their worldwide reputation. Hugely rich. Let's see what happens. This is just a bit of fun. Don't take this too seriously. You know, this is just a bit of fun. Let's see what happens when we give a team in the bottom di division of England all the money and all a massive reputation. Can they get to the top of England, become dominant? Can they dominate Europe in years to come? We will see. In this first part, I'm just going to holiday one year to the end of the 2014-15 season. If you want more parts, please leave a like. The more likes it gets, the, the more likely I'm going to get these videos out as quickly as possible for you. But we'll, we'll keep going until, until it sort of runs its course. If, if they get to the top division, then we'll keep going and see how they do. And if, if it fails, then that's the end, I guess. But hopefully, we'll see them get to the Premier League. So up the trawler men, let's get them up to the Premier League. Let's see what happens when we holiday one season. Will they go up to the Conference Premier? So here we go at the end of the first season. Mickey Chapman's still in charge. You can see Dan Gleeson's still the captain. But they're still rich, five-star reputation. That may drop off, I guess, in the early stages of this series because they're in the bottom division. They've got a tiny stadium. Um, the, the town's got a population of, I think, 58,000. So it's a medium-sized town, so there's potential for it to grow. But let's have a look at where they finished. Now, they finished fifth, as you can see there, but in fact, they did win <laughs> the playoff final against North Ferriby, of all teams. A team that's uh, been at the forefront of a couple of my experiments recently. And Dan Gleeson actually got the winning goal, the captain, with the winner, 30 years old. <laughs> Looks brilliant. <laughs> but he gets that winning goal. That all-important goal. It looks like the keeper and Dempster. The oh, Dempster's actually the captain for this game. Gleeson must have come off the bench. They had a very good game, both of them. So there we go. They're up to the, the Premier. Not quite in circumstances you'd probably think. You'd probably think with the money they have, they should dominate. But how are they going to sign players in this division? Now, they, let's see the season preview. Where were they expected to finish? They fin expected to finish top. Even's favourites, because of that money, because of that reputation that they have, I guess it's screwed with the the um, the game, expecting them to easily dominate. But did they make any transfers that are really of note? I very much doubt it. They spent 1.7k, in fact, which is nothing. A lot of free transfers come in. Maybe they were able to sign big signings in terms of the, the Conference North. This guy on a free, Josh O'Keefe. Uh, they've got a guy from Scunthorpe coming on a free. So they signed some players. I don't know how good they are really, but we'll see in the next season how well they do in the Conference Premier. Can they go straight up to the Football League? Obviously, it's only two places getting promoted from that, just like this division. So it's a very hard division to get out of. I've also noticed they're not currently playing at their own stadium. They're play, playing at Goulston on Sea, which actually has a 5,000 capacity, surprisingly. Um, but they, they're moving back to their own stadium soon after a 4,500 seat capac uh, increase, expansion, that's the word. So they're moving back in December 2015. So 
that well, that will be an interesting thing as well. We'll keep an eye on the stadium. Will they buy a new one over time as they go higher up the divisions? Player-wise, let's just to see, see he was top scorer. Jack Ainsley, 11 goals. So not many, but he was top scorer. And he's not even a striker. Danny Crow got eight goals in 38 games. Not not brilliant. Their best performance was John Dempster. Average rating, 7.58. So some players put in good, good uh, performances this season. But nothing spectacular. But the main thing is they have gone up. They lost all their friendlies. And then a mixture of results over the season. They they lost in the FA Cup. Um, where did they lose? Oh, that's the FA Trophy they lost in the first round against Lincoln. Where's the FA Cup? Here they go. They lost against Bradford PA in the third qualifying round. Now, we need them to, to do much better in the cup competitions. We want to see something good uh, from Lower Stuff Town. So, please leave a like on this video. And I will get part two out as soon as possible for you guys. But I hope you find this interesting. We're just seeing how a, a bottom a team in England does with a lot of money. People have asked it over the years I've been doing these experiments. So I've finally decided to do something like this. And we're going to follow the journey of Lowestoft Town. So I'll see you in part two, guys.